<clears throat> hey guys uh, and gals, hope you're all doing well. Um, here I am with the Wildwood Wenga Wonder and uh, the Magnetic Resonator. Um, I love this banjo, it's outstanding in every single way. Um, I also really love uh, John Hartford, and I've always loved the Deering John Hartford, but can't afford one. I have this banjo, I love it. I love the neck, I love the way it plays, I love the tone of it. So I figured there had to be a way to turn it into sort of the poor man's John Hartford. Um, so in there's an older post that you can look up under my name that has um, how I made the Mark I of the magnetic resonator. You can see inside of here there are these tabs um, that I made from um, some picture hangers that I bent. And then I, uh, I don't see, um, attached them to the uh, to the nuts inside of um, the rim of my banjo. Um, I got this resonator a few years ago. Uh, thanks, John, um, for a project that I was going to do uh, that really never came to fruition. Um, inside of this, you can see I turned this uh, disc sphere. My wife had a much better word for it that I cannot think of right now. Um, and inside here are some rare earth magnets. Um, they're not, they're very strong, but the field is kind of small. Um, let's see what I can find that's metal. Okay. I happen to have a Leatherman, which is metal. Um, so I, uh, <clears throat> it's not till about, if I hold it the distance of my thumb away from the magnet, I can barely feel the pull of the field. Uh, when I get a little bit closer than that, then I can really feel the pull of the field. Um, these are strong, but I'm not sure that the field is huge. So I don't know that there's necessarily any uh, problem with your credit cards or a microphone because the field is really small powerful but small and contained I think uh, I'm really I went to art school I'm no scientist by any stretch of the imagination so uh, there may be people that know way more about magnets than me all I know is that they stick to metal and uh, that's about it so anyway I recess these magnets into this disc um, so that they matched up with the tabs that are inside the banjo um, so this is the resonator. It's just a, a, a it's a no name. I think it's maple. It may not be, it may be something else. It's just a resonator that I had kicking around and it was free. So the object of this whole exercise is really thrift. So um, I'm gonna show you how this goes on. It's uh, pretty straightforward. You just sort of uh, slide it on. And then now that it's on, um, it doesn't want to come off. Um, the last version, because there was a little, there was a gap in between the uh, inside rim of the banjo and where I had the magnets, the posts. Uh, it, there was a lot of play, and when I put it on my knee, it kind of came off. Um, but this isn't really coming off. It's pretty secure. I can play with it on my knee. I can, uh, I can twirl it around if it wanted to be ZZ Top, but you know, I don't. Um, so, um, you know, I have to move because uh, this banjo is so loud that it was clipping in the microphone, so hopefully this will uh, clip less because I've made a long time talking to you about this. So I'm just going to um, play a couple little things so you can hear the difference. I'll play uh, Black Eyed Susie with the resonator on and then with the resonator off. So, um... That's the sound of it with the resonator on. Uh, to take the resonator off is that easy. Um, and now here's, you know, a little bit, you know, more classic kind of open back sound. 
banjo with the magnetic resonator it comes on and off really quickly um, I noticed people have asked me about how I think it affects the tone it's really hard for me to say you know whether or not the disc necessarily affects the tone because the resonator affects the tone and I don't have a way to uh, check the resonator you know without the disc because it's already on there but it definitely has uh, it's not a Earl Scruggs flathead uh, pre-war sound that it's got it definitely has a more frontward projecting sound than a sort of the all-around sound that i think an open back has it's really light which is nice um it probably weighs you know about eight or nine pounds totally maybe less probably less because there's no tone ring in this banjo but um it's got everything that i'd want now so uh that's about it. Um, I'm going to pause this. I'll throw on some finger picks, and I'm the world's worst Scruggs picker because I've only been doing it for, you know, a couple months. But I'll bang out something, and you can hear what it sounds like uh, being three finger picked. So hold on a second. And we're back! Magically. Okay, so um, with the caveat that I am just learning and not particularly great at this yet. Uh, <laughs> Here's a little three finger. Um. So that's it with uh, picks on and I like that it's just so quick. Um, here's it with picks on. You know, they just have a little bit of different timbre. Uh, I'm, I don't know if one's necessarily better than the other, but I think probably for, uh, you know, playing out where uh, I need to be heard, I think the resonator probably makes sense. Um, it's super duper. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope it's inspired you to maybe do something yourself. Um, I am more than happy to uh, let you know how I did it or give you measurements or how I thought of it or whatever you want to know just ask um thanks a lot have a great day good night god bless you